Right, hi and welcome to a new series of videos. Over the next month I'm going to be sharing with you nine paintings that I completed with Cobra Paint. Uh, Cobra Paint is a new paint from Royal Talons which is water mixable oil paint. And essentially what that means is it can be cleaned and thinned with just using water. And I was very kindly approached and asked by Royal Talons to test out their new paint and after giving it some thought I just wanted to try and swap out my regular paint for Cobra Paint to see how well it would hold up. I wanted to try and use it in the most natural scenario I could and really try and test what Cobra could do. And I'm very excited to share the work that I did with Cobra and with that being said let's have a look at the first painting. So with this first painting I had this idea of testing out the Cobra paint without having experienced it beforehand. It's quite infrequent that I get to test out a new type of paint and there are some unique experiences that come with that. So prior to this painting I did no experimental tests. No swatches or value studies, nothing like that. I just wanted to dive straight into a painting in order to test it out in a real life scenario. And when it comes to testing out new materials, you are exploring the unknown and that's something that I was particularly excited about, as it gives you something to work against. It gives you something to respond to and something to push against and that element of the unknown forces you to solve problems on the fly. And of course I have experience with the application of paint, and I somewhat expected it to handle similarly to oil paint, but I wanted to try and paint with no expectations of the material. I wanted to take it at face value and respond to how it reacted, and have to work it out on the fly without expecting it to respond in any particular way. The hope being that I would start to pick up on the individual properties of Cobra instead of trying to get it to react like oil paint. I feel like when trying a new material that is similar to something you already have experience with, there is a tendency to compare the two and this could ultimately tar the experience of the new material, as it's not responding in the way that you're used to. Instead I was trying to be conscious of picking up on the unique properties of Cobra Paint, and after my time with it, out of all the paint I have tested, I would definitely say that Cobra Paint is the most similar to oil paint, but it's still very much its own thing. So I started this painting in an alla prima method and I'm laying down big blocks of colour and then subsequently working in smaller and smaller shapes in order to build up an image. I wasn't sure how Cobra Paint would respond to painting in an alla prima method. It's generally possible by a very particular snap of paint onto the canvas and that is by controlling the paint on the surface and controlling the paint on the brush in order to correctly lay wet marks on top of one another but it was immediately clear that I could lay brush marks on top of each other with Cobra Paint without them becoming muddy. This in turn led me to continue to paint the painting in an Anna Prima method and I was able to complete this painting in one session. I'm also painting on oil paper with a full palette. Essentially I wanted to try and paint this painting in a scenario that I felt comfortable in and as I'm already focusing on a lot of different aspects of testing out the material and I knew that I had several paintings to test Cobra Paint further and I didn't want to overload this first painting with trying to test a bunch of different variables and ultimately my main goal within this painting was just to take it from start to finish. And I also wanted to get a broad understanding of the different stages of painting. I wanted to start to get a feel for the material from start to finish and felt it was important to get to the end stages of painting so I would understand how it felt to bring a painting to conclusion using Cobra. I also knew that once I completed this painting that I would suddenly have a reference point for Cobra. I would understand how to better manipulate the material and then I could work towards specific outcomes with the paint. And this is something that is generally quite prevalent in my practice. I want to try and understand the different applications of a material in order to achieve various conclusions and try to have an idea in mind of how best to apply the paint in order to have the work read in a specific manner. As this is something that I'm also aware of when I'm painting regularly and I'm always trying to experiment, I knew that this would be the case for painting with Cobra as well. And during this painting I definitely started to get an idea of how Cobra responded. I was already starting to think of how I could manipulate it in different paintings in order to start to specifically take advantage of the unique properties of a water mixable paint. This in turn gave me goals to work towards and an understanding of what I would want to achieve within this material and then that subsequently meant that I could tailor my workload in order to explore this material. And this is partly why I think it's better to work with the material in a natural way before planning different tests. I went on to complete tests after this painting so I had a better understanding of the mechanics of Cobra Paint but it meant that the tests I completed were more direct and relevant to what I was trying to achieve. I also wanted to test out with this piece how a finished painting would look. In my work I generally end up working in series and it's important for me that there is some sort of visual consistency with finished paintings. 
So when planning for this painting, I painted something that I was already intending to paint. I had edited the image beforehand so that the colour scheme was relevant to a colour palette I had been using in my recent work, and the painting is also formatted so it fit in with my current 100 head series. I wanted to be able to directly put this painting side by side with a current series of work and see how well it would blend in. And on reflection I think it blends in very well, and I think that this is partly due to the fact that Cobra is still an oil based paint. It just undergoes a process in order to make the oil mixable with water. So that means you're still painting with an oil based paint, but it can be cleaned and thinned with water. So let's talk about some of the first impressions, and as I mentioned earlier, I was painting with a full palette that consisted of a set of Cobra paint which came with the colours Titanium White, Permanent Yellow Light, Pyrrole Red Deep, Cobalt Blue and Permanent Green Deep. And I had some extra Cobra paint that I added in order to copy a palette that I've been using recently. And the colours I added were Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna, Ivory Black and Turquoise Blue. The colour seemed strong and vibrant and of a good quality and I generally use the Royal Talents Rembrandt oil paint as I find it to suit a wide range of needs when I'm painting and I was pleased to say that the Cobra paint held its own. It had good tinting power and seemed consistent from tube to tube. And this consistency is how you build familiarity with a paint. And as I worked my way through this painting I definitely started to notice some of the unique properties of the Cobra paint. Perhaps the most obvious one was the lack of smell. This comes from a combination of the paint having less of a smell and the fact that I didn't have to have any turps lying around. I feel like this is probably one of the best aspects of Cobra paint as it opens up the possibility of a safer work environment. There are less chemicals in the air which could lead to longer periods in the studio without having to work in a toxic environment. And it's also a possibility that the people who have had to give up oil painting due to the chemicals that are used alongside it would be able to paint in oils again without facing health concerns. It also has the possibility of being a more considerate material to use in an open studio fashion, but obviously it should be treated with respect as all paints can be harmful if misused. Another thing I was quick to notice was how the water cut through the paint. Now normally when painting in oils, paint fill and paint viscosity is very important to me. I'm trying to achieve a wide range of applications in wet on wet layering, and for this to be successful the paint has to be the right viscosity, that is, it has to have the right fluidity. And when painting with regular oil paint, the turps will very easily cut through the paint in order to have a thorough consistency, whereas with the Cobra paint you have to work the water into the paint a bit more. And although quite disruptive at first, as I gained more experience I was able to control the consistency more, and in the later paintings instead of dipping the brush into water and then mixing that into the paint, I was adding water directly to the palette with a spray bottle. This ultimately gave me a lot more control over my mixes. The paint also felt less slick straight out of the tube. This is that it would drag more across the surface, and this was something that was quite easily changed by using a less absorbent surface, but also it provided some interesting opportunities to get dry brush marks. And finally, the brush picked up the paint in a different manner. When mixing a colour together with a brush, the Cobra paint would sit differently in the brush, that is, that the brush would hold more paint and this proved to be quite helpful when filling out large areas, and would lend itself well to a more thicker and pasto style of painting. And I definitely feel that Cobra paint could be an artist's primary material, and with proper exploration could be a game changer in modern paint, and with the time I spent with it I feel I barely scratched the surface of the possibilities, but I hope by documenting my process and thoughts with Cobra, it might be a good springboard for other artists to experiment with it in their own way. And with that being said, I'm looking forward to sharing the paintings and associated videos that I completed with Cobra. I tried to cover a wide range of experiences and different tests, including painting on different surfaces and achieving different effects. And if you've used Cobra paint in the past, let me know what you think. I think it's important that we start a dialogue with artists about modern materials and how we can use them. And with this in mind, I'm going to leave some links in the description where you can find out more information about Cobra paint and pick some up to test for yourself. And also be sure to head over to my Instagram where I'll be sharing the work I've done and continuing to discuss Cobra Paint. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them here or over on Instagram.